Hey! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a super simple driving prototype using Figma. So this is what we'll be making. We have a start state where we click and drag a file and take it towards this drop zone and releasing it triggers the next stage of our prototype. So it looks a bit complex, but it's super, super quick to set up. And let's get right into it. So this only uses four frames to work. So we start by having the start frame where we kind of have the initial state and then we've got this dragging state. So when you click down on the item, this is what you see. And then we have another dragging state. So this is where the item is moved to the max position. This interaction works in any direction. You can go left to right, up and down, right to left or down to up. And as long as the frames have the item at the beginning point and end point of where you're dragging, you'll be fine. And lastly, we've got the state we want to see at the end after the dragging has finished. And the reason you saw this animate is because I was using an interactive component here. That's why there's only one state on screen. So setting this up is really, really quick. So I'm going to make sure I'm in my prototype panel over here. Click on this first item and create a prototype interaction. And we'll set this one to mouse down. So when mousing down, we'll move to this frame. And for the animation, we'll just leave that as a smart animation. Then for the next interaction, click on the item again and create another interaction and this time set it to on drag. So now while you're dragging, it will move from this position to this position. And then what we want at the beginning is if we don't drag it all the way or if we click but let go, we want to go back to this initial state. So what we'll do is we'll click on this entire second frame itself and create an interaction going backwards. So grabbing that, to go back to the first frame and we'll just set this to after delay and drop down that time to maybe a third of a second. So this will mean it will jump back to that first state. And similarly, at the very end of the dragging state, we'll set an after delay to move it into this final completed state. We'll make this a lot shorter, so maybe 90 milliseconds, just so it starts happening very quickly. And actually for this animation, we'll change it to a dissolve. So that final state fades in. So that's it, just four different kind of prototype interactions, four little noodles, and we've got our dragging animation. So let's take a look at how it looks. So remember, we've got this set up to mouse down, it changes to that second state, so that's what's happening when we click on it. If we click on it and don't drag and let go, it goes back to that first state because of that after delay. And similarly, if we click and drag it some of the way, but then let go, Figma's clever enough to reanimate the dragon going backwards and reset to that. So this bit, I've let go of my mouse and it jumps back into place. But if we get past a certain threshold, if we get past halfway close to that final state, it will do the same and jump forwards. And then you'll see because that after delay trigger is so short, it jumps straight into that final state. So one more time, clicking and dragging into the drop zone, that final state. Super simple to set up. It makes your prototypes feel way more realistic. Hope you give it a try. There's a community file so you can try this out yourself. The link is down in the description. Thanks for watching.